Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Today we are going to delve into the fascinating world of optics and explore how it relates to our vision. Specifically, we will be discussing three common eye defects, hyperopia, myopia and astigmatism. We will understand their causes and discuss the physics behind their solutions. So let's get started. First of all, hyperopia or hypermetropia often referred to as farsightedness, is a common refractive error. In terms of physics, this defect occurs when the eye's lens and cornea focus incoming light behind the retina instead of directly on it. This is often due to the eye being shorter than normal. As a result, close objects appear blurry while distant objects are clear. The physics solution of hyperopia or hypermetropia is the use of converging or convex lenses. These lenses bend the incoming light rays so that they focus directly on the retina, correcting the refractive error and improving near vision. Next, let's talk about myopia or nearsightedness. This is the opposite of hyperopia. Here, the eye focuses light in front of the retina instead of on it. This is usually because the eye is longer than normal or the cornea is excessively curved. Consequently, distant objects appear blurry while close objects are seen clearly. The physics solution to myopia is the using of diverging or concave lenses. These lenses spread out the incoming light rays so they focus on the retina, correcting the refractive error and improving distant vision. Lastly, we have astigmatism. This defect occurs when the cornea or lens has an irregular shape, causing light to be focused unevenly on the retina. This results in distorted or blurred vision at all distances. The physics solution of astigmatism is the use of cylindrical lenses. These lenses have different curvatures in different directions which corrects the uneven focusing of light, thereby improving vision. So there you have it. We have just explored how the principles of optics apply to our vision and how they can be used to correct common eye defects. Remember, the beauty of physics is all around us, even in our own eyes. Stay curious, stay fascinated. Until next time, keep exploring the world of physics. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.